at some point you're going to have the confidence and it's total bullshit frankly I don't Yo, what's good Snapchat? I'm about to give a really, really long snap because I've just been stumped with a question that a guy sent me in my inbox on Facebook last night. I'm going to tell you what it is. He popped up to me last night at 2122 to be specifically. He said, hi bro, what's your secret power of world? What drives you? I'll say that again to make it clearer, but he said, hi bro, what's your secret power of will? What drives you? So that was his question. Read it last night, I saw it pop up, but I never opened it. You know how you can kind of see a message before actually opening it? And, I, and I've got another secret how you can pre-messages as well. But when I pre-ed it, it had me stumped because it really got me thinking, like, because I didn't know the answer was, like, what is my secret power of will? What actually drives me? It got me thinking. I realized after much thought that, you know, it's now coming up to 1.30 now that, you know, I need to reply back to him. I always like to reply back to people within 24 hours, so I want to reply back to him. So I'm there typing, replying back to him, not knowing what my answer is, but as I'm typing, the answer kind of flowed out of me, so I want to share it with you what my secret power of will is. So literally, this answer just like flowing through these fingers. See these fingers here, yeah? These are the answers that are flowing out of. So this is what I said back to him. I've got to do it in another snap now. But the first thing I said to him is that, well, I always say like, hi bro, thanks for the message. It had me thinking, because it literally did have me thinking. Oh, I've got to do another snap. I said to him that I don't know if I do have a secret power of will. I wouldn't say I have anything which is different to everybody else. I wouldn't say that I have a secret power of will. Because I believe that my willpower and what is driving me is no different to what anybody else can be having their willpower and what is driving them, if that makes sense. So I then said to him that if I had to differentiate what my secret power of will would be, which is different to everybody else, is that I have an unhealthy addiction to success. You know, like whenever I do have a success, I always want to be topping that. I always want, I'm never satisfied. I always want to be topping what I'm doing. And that can be unhealthy. And the reason why I say it can be unhealthy is because for me personally, I don't have no downtime. I never play. I'm never playing. I'm always cracking on doing some things. That can be unhealthy. You know, so I don't have that balance. For me, it's always work, 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 work. You know what I'm saying? It's that Rihanna song. I don't play. So it's like I don't have that balance in my life. But on the plus side, it just means that I crack the hell on and just get things done. So, I mean, that, that, if that's, that, that was my answer for him. And his latter part of his question, I then wanted to break it down into two, was that, you know, what, you know the, for the first part, what was your secret power of will? And the latter part was what drives you? So in terms of what drives me, I said to him that if you don't look at it from like an ego perspective, I love the reaction people give me when I am successful doing something. And that drives me to want to impress them again. It's like, cool, if you like that, watch what I'm going to do next. Watch what I'm going to do next. So it's like, I like that external validation. And that does have its negatives because if that external validation is not there, it means I won't necessarily do something. But that does drive me having people support what I'm doing. And the final thing I said to him in terms of what drives me is that I said, I think I just wanted him to be super successful. Like, that's all I want to be. That's what ultimately drives me, being successful.